Hi guys, welcome. This is our weekly reading for September 30th through October 6th, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you. And bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing, so see what feels right for you. It could be one sign that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. Reading, it could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everyone involved in the situation and so on. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you, how you ride. These energetic waves that come through here is always up to you in the end. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave, preparing for the wave, crashing into the wave, riding that wave, or ignoring the wave? It's always your choice in the end. Also, feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And be sure to check out the links I provide below. Show your love and support to the artists and musicians. And I find there's always further signs and symbols for the reading. All right. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome. This is our weekly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Inquiring, for September 30th through October 6th, 2016. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for Sagittarius, for the highest and greatest good of all, one card for focus, clarity, and understanding the energies this week and how to ride these energies best. And that's the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is a um, popular, popular card this week. There's a lot of balance being restored this week. I feel like this involves finances. It's accepting opportunity when it comes to you. It's opening your arms so you can receive and understanding what's valuable to give. It's equal exchange. It's balancing the scale. It's success. It's having success in your scale being rebalanced. So it's like um, opportunity that comes, financial gain that just arrives into your world, Sagittarius. And um, the Six of Pentacles is, I feel like in this card, it's asking you to sort of like open up your arms, like whatever you have to grab this opportunity, do it, grab it. You know, if you have to make something so you can hold it, make it, make it happen, make it work. Um, um, accept something, maybe accept some help. Um, maybe it's you giving some help and you're hoping somebody else has some open arms because what you have to give is valuable. Maybe it's information, knowledge. Um, I hear like financial knowledge. Maybe you're going to help somebody or that's coming into your world. Maybe it's not in the exact way you think it'll come. You know, maybe it's not a big check, but maybe it's valuable information to restore something. Um, let's get another card for Sagittarius. I'm gonna go to the Earth Magic cards. And let's get a card for Sagittarius. More clarity on success, the Six of Pentacles, and giving and receiving release. Um, so maybe letting go of something so it can come in. Maybe not pushing something so it can come back. Um, autumn equinox. I also see like equal exchange. The equality in day and night. I feel like the sun and the moon. Like in the sky together. Equal size even. Like uh, yeah, breaking free releasing something, releasing the old, um, changing with the seasons, um, changing the colors of something, changing the filter, uh, changing your perception, um, 
letting something fall, you know, letting something go and preparing for something new to come in. Maybe preparing for harvest, you know, I feel like that's a harvest. Perhaps you were waiting for something to come and it's time to open your arms, Sagittarius. I'm gonna go to the Art of Life Tarot and pull a card for Sagittarius. For more clarity on the Six of Pentacles, success, harvest, abundance, nature, maybe connecting with nature. Um, perhaps you're taking a trip. I feel like maybe if you get to see you know, the seasons change, the fall leaves, maybe like the woods, the mountains, and um, maybe you do photography or videos, or you're just going on a walk um, in the woods. Um, maybe you'll feel free here, like taking a trip, something like that. Um, let's get another card for Sagittarius. The Two of Wands. Maybe you're taking a trip, Sagittarius. Maybe you're just getting in the garden going somewhere. This is a release, you know? This is you getting something back. Maybe this is valuable to you, this chance, this trip. I feel like you're working together with somebody else here. You're going on a trip with somebody, towards somebody, to somebody, from somebody. Um, the first step towards getting somewhere is to decide that you are not going to stay where you are. <laughs> I added that accent myself, and I don't know why. Um, J.P. Morgan. So, The Road with Acadius. Detail by Roger D. La Fresne, 1908. Musée de la Vella de Paris. Musée Cornevel de Paris, France. That was a mouthful. Um, the first step towards getting somewhere is to, I don't know why I'm doing it with an accent. I'm gonna do it with an accent, here we go. The first step towards getting somewhere is to decide that you are not gonna stay where you are. So, you know, it's time to move. It's time to get in the car and drive. It's time to take control, to move forward, to release something that you know, a place, a time, an event, to go away from something that's old and towards something new. So there's a restart. Um, I feel like an adventure here. You know, something you never saw before. Um, new colors, something like that. Um, I just keep seeing the fall leaves. So, um... Yeah, so let's get another card for Sagittarius for the week. One card. The Page of Earth. So I feel like eagerness is involved here. Like a student, somebody who wants to learn, who wants knowledge, who wants to seek something, who wants to know about everything who's curious, um, curious, uh, independent, like an earth sign, um, grounded, younger energy, still learning, but pretty witty, and, um, like, a little bit slower, you know, like, gets into the details, looks at details, looks at the map, like, um, yeah, like, I see somebody looking at maps, um, I see a lot of color in this, um, good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, and a new area of study, so maybe you're, you know, this release is bringing you something new, something a little bit challenging, but that's going to bring you success. Um, it could be an earth sign, like earth in your chart, um, just earthy wisdom for Sagittarius, or like 
a Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy around you. Perhaps that's who you're going on this trip with or towards or because of. Um, it's the page of Earth, so it's usually somebody just learning, but pretty smart, pretty wise, even if it's a new subject. It's somebody scholarly, dependable, patient, and successful. Um, successful. You know, all it takes, Sagittarius, is starting, taking one step, you know, deciding where you are now perhaps isn't where you're going to be later. Maybe this week you're moving somewhere else and it's going to feel like a release, like a breath of fresh air. I hope this is helpful for you guys. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.